when we're thinking about common gender biases that occur, say, in job interviews, what are we talking about? What are some of the things that executives who are in, in leadership roles who are women commonly face that, again, getting ahead of those objections and telling your value story, what should they be prepared, prepared for at that interview? Um, again, we, we, this is something beyond our control. Um, I, to, to, to be quite honest with you, I have not really run into situations of gender bias in a long time. I think it was more prominent before. And I think now, like Andrea said, we have so much more awareness of what diversity of everyone brings to the table. Um, but I can tell you, I wrote an interesting blog uh, a couple, uh, probably about four or five years ago on that topic as to, I did an event for CFOs. And I sent out, I was living in the Boston area and I sent out an invitation to all the CFOs in the area. And I think there were like, I don't know, 200 that I had invited. And I think there were only four female CFOs in that mailing. And I had to really dig down and figure out why, why is that? And when I really started doing the research to, to why some people will get these positions at the top and others won't, um, what I found to be the major objective uh, uh, obstacle and looking at these people that did get the roles and how they got them is that the, the men actually spent more time in their career building alliances and networking as where the women were spending more time really just getting to work and doing the job. You know, they had a family at home they had to take care of. They didn't have time to be messing around, going off and playing golf. You know, they weren't going out to lunch with their colleagues. They were just, you know, grabbing a tea out of the, you know, a, a tea bag out of the break room and running back. And that's why I called the blog Tea Time versus Tea Time. Um, and and I found that there's definitely um, more of an ease for people to transition from corporate role to corporate role if they have spent their time in their career building alliances. And, um, and I just don't think that, that even for me, that we've, that as females, that we've spent enough time uh, or, or enough, put enough importance on going out and building relationships and treating our career more like a lone wolf. And, and that's just been my experience. 